Welcome back guys to another episode of Uncut Eats with me, B. Today we're going to be trying something different. We're going to deep fry some bun and cheese, guys. You know, we always traditionally eat it around Easter time, you know. And we're going to do something different, alright. So right here, I got some Jamaican bun here. And of course, some Jamaican cheese. Over here, we're going to use this to make a jam. So I got some honey, some mint, got some mangoes here. I got a little bit of chili pepper and ginger in there. I also got some lemon zest. And I got some white rum and spice rum mix right there, right? Over here in the back, we're going to do a little butter, which we're going to um, dip these, um, you know, bun in to fry them, give them a nice little coating on the outside. So, you know, we got some red striped beer, some flour, a little bit of powder sugar for a little sweetness, you know, a little cornstarch, you know, to get us so we need to be. And on the stove already, I got some peanut oil over there heating up in the meantime. So, let's get started. First order of business, we're going to take this bun, piece of cheese, and we're just going to kind of fold it over like that. You know, something looking like that. You're just going to take your hand and make sure your hand is clean, alright? And use on that hand. And you're just going to work it around like that. Form like a nice little ball. Looks something like that, alright? We're going to do this to repeat the process for all of these. All right, guys, so this is what they should look like. We're all done with this, all right? Wrapped up tightly in there. We're gonna push that to the side now, guys, so we can get started on this beer batter, all right? So I'm just gonna eyeball this. Go ahead and add some flour, all right? Let's add a little bit of that powder sugar in there, not too much, so a little bit, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and add some cornstarch to this. And starts gonna help make it nice and crispy, all right? Yeah, that nice. And then of course, guys, a red stripe where I use. I like me say it's a beer butter. So you just go ahead and work that in there. Look at me around to beer, me drink off the rest, you know. Nah, I joke, I have another bottle left somewhere. Mm -hmm. We don't want this too thick, as well as we don't want it too thin, you know. We want it a decent consistency where you can coat it. Make sure you dissolve all the lumps and stuff out of it. Some more beer, said we. All right, guys. So, we want the texture to look something like that. You know, not too thick, not too thin. Pretty much what, almost like a cake batter. So when it's just like that, so we're gonna get ready to drop these now, guys, and get ready to start frying. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get this this starts here started. All right. So push that out the way. I'm gonna go ahead, add our rum to this. I'm go ahead and add our mango. ginger and our chili and a lemon zest when they start bubbling up we'll go ahead and add the honey and the um, thyme all right so I'll go ahead and put that on the fire and get it a chance to start bubbling all right get this over here get a little closer to the oil All 
all right guys so that water is pretty hot now so we're going to we're going to go ahead and drop these in here and just kind of move them around like that that's what we're doing get that batter to cover them properly Pretty much move them around until they get them fully coated. Alright. These look good. We're gonna go ahead now. We're gonna drop these now. Be careful guys, you don't wanna get burned. Let's take your time and drop these in. I'm just going to pretty much fry these up, guys, until they're golden brown. Nice. All right, guys. Now, we're going to go ahead and throw in our meat. And, of course, that good honey. down a little bit cut this down reduce the heat a little bit and we're just gonna let that go ahead and simmer let's go ahead and check on these see so what they're looking like alright <laughs> coming together nicely Alright guys, let's get us a couple more seconds in there and these should be ready. Come back over here, just reduce it nicely. Alright guys, put these ready. Let's go and go ahead and take these out right now. Got them on a piece of paper towel here. Go ahead and kind of get some of that grease off, okay? <clears throat> All right, at the same time, our thing right here look nice. It's pretty much what I look for. Finalize them onto a nice glaze. All right. So let's get started on the plating up, guys, of these things. Deep fried bun and cheese. <clears throat> we got a nice little board here. First all our business. Go ahead. Put our little our rum jam on here. Rum jam. All right. And let's go ahead and put these here. 
garnish with a little bit of mint. And last but not least, some powdered sugar. There you have it, guys. Deep fried bun and cheese. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut one of these open and see what they look like on the inside. Mm. Oh yeah guys, that's definitely good. Must try this. Like, comment, subscribe as usual. Thanks for watching.